Anonymous says, Yeah. What are your thoughts on the new Big Bang spinoff show, Young Sheldon? I think it's highly offensive. To young people? To nerds. The Big Bang Theory is there. That, that character, Sheldon? Yeah. I hate that kind of stock nerd character that yep. doesn't actually exist anywhere in real life. Right. Right. Uh, no, I mean, you know, they're going to make the show they're going to make that they think is going to make money. Nothing we can do about it. Door cannot be opened at this time. Well, why the fuck not? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Anonymous says, yeah. while we're talking about great cartoons, what do you think of Bob's Burgers? I'd also say Steven Universe is pretty good despite being able to show it to kids. Skullface was the Metal Gear Solid 5 villain, by the way. Oh, that's right. He did have a skull I'll bet you. I'll bet you there's a Savage Dragon character called Skullface. I'll bet you. There might, you know, I'm, we're probably both right. I'm not doubting <laughs> you that that's a Metal Gear Solid 5 villain. But... That is totally an Eric Larson character. I could I could picture them. <laughs> as far as Bob Burgers, um, I haven't gone out of my way to watch the whole series, but whenever I watch, whenever I've seen Bob's Burgers, I've I've tended to like it. It's a fine show. You know, I feel the exact same way about Bob's yeah. Burgers. I've seen a couple episodes and enjoyed it, and just haven't gotten around to it. I've seen like I've seen like a season or two worth. Oh, really? Yeah. That much? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've probably seen a handful of episodes. Steven Universe, I watched. All of season one really enjoyed that. Uh, that was one I could watch with my kids, so I liked that Steven Universe. Uh, what was the latter part of that? Uh, the Skull Face. Skull Face, right. Oh, Steven Universe also. Yeah, I mentioned that. That's a good show. That's a really fun show. Never seen it. Full of heart, Rich. You might it it might but be, I hate it. You might be it might be a little too schmaltzy for you. <laughs> <laughs> might be a tad too schmaltzy that's why i like it it's just oh it's just the steven is so optimistic about everything skullface confirmed as an eric larson character yeah i knew it nice Some blue guy in chat says, Wow, 39, Rich? You don't look a day over 50. Any plans for your 40th birthday? What about you, Jack? Also, since no one else seems to care, Jack, would you recommend The Surge? I think it looks good. All right. <laughs> like we, that's how, by the way, that's how we do it on this show. We don't really talk about the game. Uh yes I, i'm about to get to a boss and i'm going to show you a, a problem i've been having and we're going to see if i continue to have that problem or if magically we're able to does that does that problem involve you getting good so i i've done all this before <laughs> like sorry uh no well no, uh, sorry i was trying to you know what i'm sorry because i was trying to answer your question honestly <laughs> instead of just taking it as at the dig as at me but so this part of the game is really fun, uh, and you know I like the combat. It's very smooth, and it feels really good to rip people apart. Yeah. And, and you know there is that kind of strategy element to it where you say, "Oh, his arm looks really neat. I want that power up, but it's armored, so it'll take longer to do it. Maybe if there's no one else around." So all of that feels very nice. I had a big problem with this enemy and their armor system where I could not figure out how to beat the first boss. Someone's saying this looks derivative and dumb. Um, I could see where you would come to that conclusion. And everything to some degree derivative, like most things are. Sure. What was the la I'm not saying there isn't one. I'm just saying what was the last really, really unique game? 
In terms of what? I don't. In, in terms of not ripping something else off to some degree, to some major degree. Like this is <laughs> this is like Dark Souls. This is an other generic third person shooter. Sure. Well, so then we can obviously look at something like Demon Souls, yeah. right? Which was the precursor to Dark Souls, which created its own subgenre. I'll tell you what, a game where you wouldn't say this is like. This is an important. This is an important question, Rich. Katamari Damacy. Ooh, nice. But is that the last? The last. Shower with your dad simulator. <laughs> Truck game? No, because that truck game was essentially a platformer. The truck game was a 3D that platformer. That's pretty, pretty unique. Huh? Pretty unique. Cluster truck? Yeah. Pretty unique. Sure, but... I, I'll, Not I, necessarily. The question isn't, like, is it the best thing ever? Just... Right. Is it pretty unique? Like, you wouldn't say, it is like... Like, you, you know, it's a platformer, but you wouldn't say, cluster truck is like Mario. You wouldn't say that. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, then cluster truck can count. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to go back to my brain back catalog of the millions of games we've played um the last game that wasn't like something might be cluster truck could be cluster truck i just i, I love that katamari damacy example of just like a truly yeah. unique yeah a unique game duskers <laughs> nice <laughs> Beefcake! So they exist. They definitely exist. Duskers okay. is a wholly okay. unique game. There you go. Um, something like... Something like... Yeah, yeah, they're out there. They're out there. That's a good question, though. Like, could you put FTL on that list? Is that possible? I could. What, what would you say FTL is like? Right? That, no, that's yeah. what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Snipper clips. Yeah. Yeah, they're all over the fucking place. We're fine. Gaming's fine. Don't worry, everybody. Gaming's fine. Unique games release all the time. Try not being such a closed-minded old man. We, we just, I just we I just said I wasn't know. saying it's never happened. I was just curious what the last one was. Like, how many... I was trying to quantify yes. this, you jackass. J uh, Judge Frowny Face, I I'll, take, I'll take issue with using Splatoon as an example because Splatoon is... You can just say, oh, it's like a third-person shooter online, but you use ink instead. Like Possibly. Spl it's borderline. I was borderline. Splatoon is very cute and creative, but I think it's also the, the, really the ink swim mechanics a pretty, pretty major deviation from your normal online shooter. Eh. Eh. To me, that's just a that's just a character movement. Uh, that is just a quirk of character movement. There we go. Justin, v wait, wait, I missed some here. Moki B85 says, hi, Wreckers. Hello. Rich, I just heard about the GMP Angel Fire page. It says you guys made a, f oh my God, it scrolled and I can't do anything about it. You made eight feature films? Why have we not seen the Long Walk Home, Checks Balone, or General Gore series? They look amazing because they're terrible. We made these things when we were like in high school and in, and early college. They're awful. That's why you haven't seen them. Which here's here's something. If if you're a filmmaker, don't show your early works around. 
<laughs> Put those in a drawer somewhere and forget about them. It's important to make them. You gotta make them. But maybe don't put them on the internet for everyone to see. Wait until you figure that shit out. Shit. Justin Voorhees says, Rich, any plans on checking out Brutal Doom 64? I just started playing it myself, and it's a blast. The sprites are a little ugly, but the gameplay is great. Fuck you. I, I have no immediate plans to, but I, I wouldn't rule it out entirely. And hawk up. And hawk AP, or uh, I'm not. I can clearly make out a hawk in there, and there's some other letters around it. I'm not sure what the the intended pronunciation is. Sure. Nahawkup. That's what I'm going to say. So speaking of things you don't want to watch, here's bribe money in hopes either of you would be receptive to critiquing some concert footage I shot slash cobbled together. Thanks. I am not receptive to critiquing your concert footage. I am not at all receptive to that. Thank you. It seems like a very strange request. <laughs> I'm going to be super honest with you. Of all the things that we could watch and critique, that makes the least amount of sense to me. But hey, you do you. I'll give you a refund if you want. We cannot be bought. No, we can be bought, Rich. What do you tell? Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's no. 20 bucks, Johnny. It's 20 bucks. Watch you, want, you, you, want, you would watch concert footage. Concert footage. That's some guy shot for 20 bucks. I'll watch a little bit. Did he, did he provide a link? Provide Jack a link and Jack will do this. Did he provide it? There's nothing, there's nothing useful I could say about concert footage. I am useless here. Yeah, send me an email. Prereq send, send, at, at Red Letter Media. Jack was bought for the extremely low price of 20 bucks. I'm, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch no more <laughs> than two minutes. I will watch two minutes of your concert footage. Ten bucks a minute. That's what you get. I guess I split it all with Rich, so five bucks a minute. But hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. I don't give a shit. Hard Tree Fucker says, Hey, guys. Just curious. What clip would each of you pick to sell TNG? Well, I have no desire to sell you on shit. If you like it, that's great, but... Like what you like, man. I'm not a, I'm not a fucking TNG priest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Decapitation. Fucking Paramount doesn't give me any money. I'm not gonna shill their shit. <laughs> sure it. Shrup. You're not gonna shill their short. Shrup. Why can't I say words? Uh, I've often wondered that, Rich, and <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've just chalked it up to you don't want to. <clears throat> no, that's not it. That's not it. Fart Bubbler says, Richard Edlund. Nonsense in a bag says, hey, both. That's just, just, that's just fucking lazy, man. Hey, both. It's just uh, fucking lazy. Or is it lazy or efficient? Ooh. All right, I'm going to go with efficient. <laughs> says, I got in my first car wreck after 15 years safe driving last week. Oh, sorry. Of course, it was right after I bought my new car. Do Sorry. either of you have experience slash stories about car accidents? Yes. Yes. Um, oh, it's about to get real. This, this is uh, st it's terrifying. I could have easily have died. I got hit head on by a semi. What? There's a reason I survived. Because I it was like the... Oh, God. All right. Back when I was working construction, I just got a new freaking car, too. It was like, uh, 
I, I, I ended up getting Karen's getting a car from her, and it was a good deal on that. It was just a brand new car, and it was really new. I didn't have insurance yet. That's that's the double tragedy. Mm. I'm on my way home from work. I'm on um, 94, which that's a pretty fucking huge highway. It's a big, big, big highway. Yeah. And there's this motherfucking semi to the left of me, and I'm I must be in its blind spot because he just starts drifting into my lane. I'm about, I'm about to get knocked in the side by this giant fucking semi that does not see me at all. So I I, I, I swerve mm. into the I, I swerve to my right to not to not get hit. Yeah. And the car in that lane, I had to hit my brakes not to rear end that car. So I swerve to get out of the way of the semi that's coming into my lane, and then I have to slam on my brakes so I don't rear end this SUV. I ended up spinning out, like completely uncontrollable spin on ninety four. The semi uh, that was behind me, it was like, you know, it was a couple, a lot of semis on that freaking road, hit me like head on, but it was like, it only, it scraped my door off. It scraped Jesus the entire fucking side Christ. of the car off. So it was head on, but it was like, it was like only like a, like a fraction of an inch of the car that it caught. Right. That's terrifying. Like, like, like the side of my car looked like a fucking, like, you know, tuna, you opening the top of like a tuna can or something. It was awful. That, that sounds awful. I've like like a matter of an inch, I would be dead. You know. Uh huh. That sounds terrifying. Truck that I had to swerve not to get hit by in the first place. Yeah, it just kept going. Of course. Just kept going. Yeah. Ay ay ay. Do you have a car crash story? <laughs> not, uh, not that I can compare to that. <laughs> Nothing that intense. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I've, I've gotten into a couple fender benders here and there, but nope, nothing, nothing that can compete with that story. Um, <clears throat> the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll says, related to Rich's worry about Firefly, I know someone who refuses to watch the last episode of Cowboy Bebop because he doesn't want it to end. Hmm. What are your guys' most painful TV series cancellations? This is one I would have to... I, I don't know if I can answer this just off the top of my head. I would need to think about this. Right. Okay. I would need to think about this. <clears throat> oh, okay. Here it is. Here's the boss. So does the main gun always? Huh? Why did the main gun blow up? That, I think that was, that was just supposed to be cute. It's just supposed to be cute? Yeah. Okay, so you see there's the red health meter, and then there's that yellow meter on the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, so now watch what happens when I hit... Ow, fuck you. Watch what happens when I hit its leg, if I can not die. Nope, I died. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> great. All right, everything's great. Don't worry. You know, I don't... I don't have any like painful cancellation memories like you know for example uh uh what was I thinking oh you know like what show I kind of enjoyed and I it got I was bummed that it only got picked up for like half a season was mm -hmm. uh Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip yeah uh, if you if you like Aaron Sorkin at all like he did West Wing and he did Sports Night and he wrote a few Good Men that kind of sh that kind of shit. Yeah, uh, he's a, a good writer, and he had this show about late night 
comedy programs. And it wasn't really good. <laughs> like, it had a lot of problems, but I liked the characters, and Bradley Whitford was in it, and Matthew Perry, and it had some good, it had some fun characters. Yeah. And it just didn't get a chance to find its legs. And I was like, oh, you know, that could have been a fun show. Uh, I can say, I, I can think of many shows that I've been really disappointed with that just got bad. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> how about how about Jericho? Jericho. I don't Jericho. Know. I'm sad that got canceled. Are you familiar with that show? I'm not familiar with Jericho. Oh, Jericho's a great premise. Okay. Um, partly because of the mystery, nobody really knows exactly what happened, but... Somebody set off nuclear bombs in, like, all of the major U.S. cities. Oh, okay. Like, communication is down, so nobody really... It takes place in this small town that's, you know, it's far enough away. It's yeah. relatively unaffected that they have to worry about fallout. And everything in the country just, you know, blows up except for, like, them. And nobody's getting any TV stations. Nobody knows what's going on. They're just trying to get by or trying to organize. Yeah, yeah. Last, like, like, a season and a half. Wait, this never happened before. How did he get down? I don't know. How did he get down? I don't fucking know. God I'm talking it. about Jericho. So this sounds like a good premise. It's a great premise. And so it's like it's like a survival. It's like a survival. Uh, it's like some kind of mystery because it turns out there is a bomb in the city. Just the guy who was supposed to set it off didn't set it off. It's in somebody. <laughs> it's in somebody's basement. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I got really frustrated with this enemy because, as you can see here, like, you have to build up that orange bar before... Oh, 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 I knocked him down again. How did... God damn it, how did I knock him down again? I don't fucking know. I know you don't know, but... So I think it's because you filled up the yellow meter. No, the yellow meter wasn't filled up that time. So the boss gets hit, gets hit by his own missiles. It gets stunned. Oh, is that what I have to do? This is the farthest I have gotten in this boss fight so far. Fuck you. Well, there was somebody in the chat said it wasn't worth canceling TNG for the movies or ending TNG for the movies. I'll disagree with that. I'll say TNG, the show, ended at the right time. It was starting to get bad. Mm-hmm. They actually ended it at just the right time. Ha ha! Okay. You know what? I I was not able to figure this boss out before, and I'm I'm doing it this time. So, then it's great that we're doing it on stream. Oh shit! See, but he knocked down there. I don't think he had missiles. Oh well. I don't know. I can't help you. Oh, oh why? Come on! Why am I not hitting him? There we go. Hit him! There we go. Oh, well, shit. There we go. I was having a, I was having so much problems with this boss on my own that I was uh, becoming a little disillusioned with the game because mm -hmm. I never got him to get. I, I was unable to get him knocked down before. So, boom. Great. Great. All right, we're gonna go into some. Is there anything I can take from him? Or... Oh, shit! Fuck you! Drone guy. God damn it. Huff, oh, well, I'm sorry. oh, sorry, go ahead. Huff Harden says, I'm from Cincinnati, which makes really weird chili using cinnamon and coca. 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 Cocoa? Cocoa. Whatever. <laughs> Do you speak words ever? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone from there, from here, loves it. Any local food that you feel represents Milwaukee the best? Yeah. Any food? Yeah. We got cheese curds. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese curds is kind of the greatest. Like a poor man's mozzarella stick. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Just, well, you know what? They're poppers. They're like they're like <laughs> mozzarella stick poppers. Ooh, we got custard. That's what we got over anyone else. We got custard, which is uh, which is like ice cream only fattier, because it's made with like eggs and cream and more sugar. 
Okay. So custard is a goddamn treat. Uh, what else we got in Milwaukee? We got the butter burger. That's just a cheeseburger. And call it what they want to call it. It's just a fucking cheeseburger. No, 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 no. Not like like even Cul- even Culver's doesn't do the butter okay, burger okay. right. You got to go to uh, I think it's Leon's. There's like a, a one place on the north side that makes a honest to goodness butter burger, and all really all it is is a hamburger with just way more butter than you would ever put on that. Yep. But it's they say you're just reading Culver's menu. Guess what about Culver's? It's a Midwest thing. It's a Wisconsin thing specifically, right? There's some, you know, there's not like there's none other places. Yeah, it's a Wisconsin. It's like thing. where they started, isn't it? Yeah. No, and Culver's doesn't do the butter burger justice. Like the butter burger is drenched in butter and it's gorgeous. Uh, and cheese curds. Yeah, that's it's all Culver's because Culver's is a Wisconsin restaurant. What else does Wisconsin do really well? Uh, beer. We have more. We have more breweries. Per capita than just about anywhere. We are Brew City. What is a butter burger specifically? Is just butter on the bun or something? I, I don't know. There's butter on the bun that is then toasted. Uh-huh. And then... No, there's like butter... Like, I don't know what's in it. Like, it's like melted butter on the patty and they're very thin. Thin patties. It's look it up. It's incredible. Okay. okay. The uh, if you guys watch America's Test Kitchen at all, the the PBS cooking show, which is a really great cooking show, they did a whole episode on um, on how to make your own butter burger and look into it. Spears Culver's gone down in quality over the years. You're a crazy person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate the fries. I never really liked them. Well, I don't hate them. They're just bland as fuck. Yeah, their fries could use a little... Culver's are the definition of bland fries. Yeah, you don't go for the fries. Well, that's my problem, though. There's no good side in Culver's. Cheese curds. That's not a side. Then you're doing it wrong, man. Okay. It's like I should should try to not die as soon as possible. Listen, Culver's is a sometimes food. Okay. Way Foo Gone Wild says <laughs> Is there any chance you guys will play through Hollow Knight? I think you guys will love it. It's extremely good and mechanics driven. Well, apparently 58 games came out in the last two weeks yeah. that we need to play. Hollow Knight was that so was that Metroid like cutesy game where you play as the little bunny thing. Okay. Is it good? I don't know. Oh. I don't know if I'll ever get around to it at this rate. Ozzy Baxter says hello, Rich Evans. Hello, I am Jack. Chris Cornell, <laughs> Roger Moore, That's true. and Randall's girlfriend and clerks. Rough week. Death sucks. Is that true? Really? Roger Moore died? Oh, I was thinking it, Randall's girlfriend and clerks. <laughs> oh. Well, that too. She's probably, you know, really, you know, relatively young. Yeah. Roger, yeah. Roger I'm not, Moore I'm not shocked out. I haven't heard about Randall's girlfriend and clerks. Uh, because obviously we don't I, even know what her name is. I am shocked I haven't heard about Roger Moore. Wait, Randall's girlfriend or Dante's this girlfriend? This is Randall's girlfriend and clerks. Ran- Ruff- Randall didn't have a girlfriend and clerks. I'm reading the thing. Dante had a girlfriend and clerks. Sure, yes. I never remember this. Huh? Yes. Uh, uh, so. Clerks 2, did he have a girlfriend? Could this be a thing? No, he did not have a okay. girlfriend and clerks 2. Dante's ex. Okay, Dante, there we go. sorry. Yeah, it was Dante's. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Roger Moore passed away. Chris Cornell, who like, I have no particular love for, except for except for you know, I grew up in the '90s, so Soundgarden was everywhere. Uh, <laughs> but like, you know, yeah, yeah, I know, I know he had he has a he was struggling with addiction. That Chris Cornell. 
Yeah. So it might have been, it may have a, been drug related. A rock star struggling with addiction? Oh, uh, oh my God. I know. How tragic. Settle down. Settle down, Rich. I did. You know what? I Thanks to his, his suicide. Or was it suicide or was it just a... Yeah, it was suicide. Oh. Uh, Chris Cornell. Yeah. I learned that it's a black hole sun, not like a sun. And it makes much less sense to me. You never knew it was black hole sun? I, I'm not a music guy. I, I don't say know these things. That's the name of like the song. Sun. I'm sorry. Like a sun. No, I, black I hole just... sun, won't you come wash away the pain? It's a song literally about wanting the earth to catch on fire. <laughs> It's a song about it's a song about wanting everything to die. <laughs> Rich. It's the it's the heat death of the universe song. I don't pay attention to lyrics. <laughs> I don't get that obsessive about music. Black hole sun. Won't you come? Rough week, death sucks. Jack, yeah. will, will you lift my spirits and say super hot as only you can? LOL and peace. Super hot, super hot, super hot. Ay ay ay. Press Y when facing an enemy to attack it with my drone. What? Okay, here's where we get into some differences, Rich. I get an attack drone. Yep. Rich has no sympathy for dead addicts. No, he just has no shock for dead addicts. There we go. There we go. More accurate. J. Fresk 2 says, Alien Covenant is the perfect example of trying to fix something until it's broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, things have not been... Uh, I've not been hearing good things. Haven't seen it? Never, probably never going to see it. Them's the breaks. Some blue guy in chat says, of all the live streams I watch, yours is the only one that hasn't done Player Unknown's Battleground yet. Well, I've never even fucking heard of it. Any plans on streaming it? Apparently it's fixed a lot of the problems its predecessors had. I don't even know what the fuck it is. What Pla is it's Player Unknown Battleground. I've, uh, I've, I've heard about I've it. I've literally never heard about this. I've heard the name, uh, and that's about as far as I can go. I just know it's a, a game people are playing at the moment. Which I know it ain't much. Oh, my. All right, where's my drone? Where's my drone? What do you mean not enough energy? Oh, they're starting to scream now. Oh, that's disturbing. Now they're starting to scream in pain. Becky got plapes is rich. Fartbag is a brilliant improvement over whoopee cushion. Do any of your friends realize you're actually a natural wordsmith? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like some, sometimes genius isn't appreciated until after you die. Mm -hmm. Them's the breaks. Mm -hmm. Renegade Kira says, Rich, got here late. Are you planning to stream tomorrow? Vanquish unlocks in 12 hours. Are we going to get nonstop Vanquish streams? Because that would be fucking awesome. LOL, Sam, my Gideon. Probably going to be busy tomorrow. Probably not going to stream. Probably going to be busy filming something or other. We have plans to film something or other. We There will be a Vanquish stream. It will happen. It will happen. What? Look at this weapon. Just like a fin on my arm. So you just get the one weapon, you don't get like two arms going? I don't know. Maybe there's a two-handed weapon. Wait. Wait. We do 42... 
Yeah, we'll give it that a That is try. the weapon from the boss. Oh, yeah, sure. That was his big sword that he was hitting me with. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. Cool. Yeah, I was just in here and I saw I could upgrade that thing and I didn't know quite what it was. I need some tungsten alloy up in here. Crane Hand Christ says, Hi, Jack and Rich. Jack! What? Do you ever listen to the band Ween? They are kind of <laughs> undefinable, like they might be giants and would probably be right up your alley. I think we talked about this a couple streams ago. Uh, here's what I know about Ween. I know two things about Ween. They have one amazing song called Push the Little Daisies and Make Them Come Up. You know that one? Which, which? Push the Little Daisies. Push your little daisies and make them come up. You push your little. It's like it's got like a, an electric guitar that's not uh, distorted. Yeah, you. And uh, and it's a guy with like a high pitched voice, and he says, "You push your little daisies and make them come up, and watch them grow. Watch them grow. You gotta push your little daisies and make them come up." That sounds exactly as obnoxious as peanut butter jelly time. It's not though. Like it's this whole. That's the chorus. That's the chorus to this much greater song. Um, so the rest of it is like operatic and and classical and no grand kind of I wish I could remember any of the other words to sing the the verses but it's a very weird song they're like an art house band uh, like they're like a they're like a we make abrasive music purposefully to 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 uh to poke at society's norms uh like they recorded an album on like a co-op farm or something it's a whole it's a whole thing uh and so i know that about them and i know that they were in the it's pat movie they were a driving force in the it's pat movie oh my god that's that's my entire working knowledge oh my god of of ween these are not good things i'm not Hello. saying they are <laughs> Scuba001 says, are Mike and Jay the only ones that see a movie before a Half in the Bag episode, or do Rich, Josh, Jack, Freddie, Williams go too? Usually it's just Jay and Mike. Sometimes, like, if it's a movie I'm interested in, I'll just say, hey, when yeah. are you seeing it? Cause... Like like Mad Max Fury Road. I sure. tagged along for that for sure. Yeah. I know uh, they, got, they got some... Uh, pre-tickets some some like early screeners to the new evil dead movie mm -hmm. the evil dead and they know i'm a fan and so they invited me along to, mm -hmm. so i could see that like hey we got some pre-screener tickets yeah, so you want to yeah. come see that we saw guardians with them all just because it was like oh it's a movie we're all generally interested in <laughs> it's just one of those things like hey you guys might like this movie let's all watch it together Do they, do they shoot all half in the bags after having seen the movie immediately? I usually, I think. I don't know. Not necessarily. I don't, I don't know if there's a set rule for that. Rich, are you going to build another Wheel of the Worst? No, it's the last time we're ever going to see a Wheel of the Worst. We're never going to do it again. Gone forever. That entire wall I have full of random VHS tapes is just yep. going to sit there as a wall. We're not going to do anything Goodbye with it. Goodbye forever. And you know what? Good riddance. <laughs> yeah, I said it. How is your game going, Jack? How is your game going? It's going... It's, it's going fine. Uh... These guys might be a problem. There seems to be. Yep. Maybe they were friendly. They weren't acting insane. Fuck. Hit him. He got my little drone buddy now. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, God. I got stuck. I got stuck on a wall. You got, you got stuck and dieted. I got stuck and dieted. Ah. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's fine, actually. Now that I beat that boss, uh, I, I guess my complaint is it's a little too easy, but now I'm dying again, so I got used to that first level. They're saying pull with the drone. Pull with the drone. Yeah. I don't even... Are you what? sure they attack you, or are they NPCs? They don't look like zombies. They're just standing there like people. 
Well, this guy attacks. Okay. For sure. And he doesn't seem very zombie-ish, so maybe. All right. Well, what's going on here story-wise, exactly? Um, I don't know. How about that? All right. Story-wise, exactly, I'm still fighting my way through. Or I got on a train after the junkyard, and now I'm in a train station area. But everyone still seems to be attacking me. So, story-wise, I got fuck all, man. I got fuck right all. I thought you got hired for a job. I did. Is it just a trap? Uh, that's what... Oh, are you just fuck. Are you just a guinea pig, Jack? But it went wrong? That's very possible. Nice. I'm liking my fin hand. Seems to work very well. These Dark Soul clones lack the style and tone of Dark Souls. They do. They do. That is a true statement. Are From supposedly working on a science fiction game? Oh. So they won't just attack me right out. If I cross the line, they tell me it's a restricted area. Are you supposed to not go in there? I don't know. Uh, well, well, you know what? We'll stay away for now. We'll go over here. Yeah, Bloodborne 2 is rumored. Or I don't even know if, like, they told people. Well, I, thought, I thought they were doing, I thought they announced they were doing a sci-fi thing. No? Did they? I, you said that. You told no, me No, this that. is sci-fi Dark Souls. No, like, like ages ago that From Software was going to be, we talked about, well, maybe it'll be good. They have, you know, a really nice sense of art design. I'd like to see... From's take on aliens and alien species. We had this conversation. Did we? Yes. Shit, man. Unless you made a mistake and you thought this was going to be made by them or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. Very, one, very possible. Oh, wait, I wanted your weapon. He had a cool weapon. Damn it. Oh, well. A Warhammer Dark Souls and it's bye bye for me. Warhammers would work as a Souls game. Get out of there! Get out of there! No! I died. I died! They lacked a distinct styles and tone. Well, you know, like. And that's true, and you know, part of part of the the draw to those games is how engaging the world is. You know, uh, and this world is not necessarily engaging. <clears throat> I don't know if that's their. F oh fuck you! The only, the only thing I have to say about Manchester is that nobody should have to die for the invisible man in the sky. That is such a disgusting waste. Makes me sick. Yeah, I mean, not even that, like, just for any reason. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And and to do that to... Fucking, like a tween concert. Yeah, to do that to kids. Jesus. Yeah. What an asshole. What an utter asshole. On top of that, to do it to kids. Yeah. Yeah. People complained about Alien Covenant being too similar to Alien. Yet they wanted the Neil Blomkamp sequel that would have been too similar to Aliens. This is a problem with trying to make changes to a simple premise. If it's too different, people complain. If it's too similar, people complain. If you try to meet halfway, people complain. So either way, you can't please anyone. Oh well, yes, but I think that the, uh, my issue here is they just don't need to make any more Alien movies. Well, and you know what? Here's the thing. I, I'm... You're right. They don't need to. It could still be done right. I'd like to give you a an example of, sure. of Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> we did not need another Mad Max movie. They did find something a little bit different to do with it, though. They did. 
you know, wrote the, the previous movies were a lot, a lot more grounded, a lot grittier, and this is exaggerated. Right. Fury Road is exaggerated. It's dreamlike at times. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> but I guess what I'm saying is like, all all you really need in this situation is a director with a strong vision. With an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, George Miller had that with Fury Road, and it's sounding like Ridley Scott just didn't have it, right? This is actually something that could work in our, the movie-going audience's favor as far as the new Blade Runner is concerned. It is given to a director who has a very strong vision and a very good voice. Well, as far as I'm concerned with Blade Runner, they got nowhere to go but up in the first place. <laughs> right, right. I so, know. God damn it. Gosh, dang it, Rich. Come here. Yeah, give me those arms. <laughs> give me those arms. <laughs> oh, shit, there's another one. Fury Road has way too much dialogue, which... I gotta say, that's a complaint I never thought I would hear about Fury Road. What? That almost has to be trolling. Probably. Yeah. I'm I'm not baited that easily. Right. Well, sometimes I am. Not in this particular instance. You're way too obvious. Ozzy Baxter says. Ooh, look at these weapons. That's not what Ozzy Baxter says. Ozzy Baxter says, "What would the mirror mirror versions of YouTube be like?" I see Alt Jack with the goatee and Alt Rich with an eye patch. Plot twist: mm -hmm. They're both religious zealots and hate video games. LOL. Spark. Oh yeah, we would be we would be rel re religious zealots who actively promote video games, causing the downfall of society. Okay. That would be the that would okay. be the dark versions of us. Would right? we like the prequels? Not in any universe. Here's here's <laughs> here's the the twist is. We still wouldn't like the prequels only because we also think uh, movies uh, turn people gay. <laughs> and that's a sin to us. So. Okay. <laughs> All movies. Okay. We don't watch movies or play video games. I found out the most shocking thing the other day. Oh, you're talking for real. You're not reading a tip. No, 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 no. Okay. My my Mormon sister. Yeah. Want to talk just pretty pretty conservative mm -hmm. in general. Apparently, uh, she's going to some kind of like Scottish folk dancing class up in New Berlin. Scottish folk. Some dancing. Scottish some kind of Scottish traditional dancing something or other. All right. All right. So because my sister, my other sister lives in Scotland. Oh, you're right, right, right. That's the, re that's the reason for learning that. Sure. But. Okay. Because she was in the area. And we had dinner. My ultra-conservative sister, I found out, was a Bernie supporter. Really? It blew my mind. Absolutely yeah. blew my mind. That's. Uh, what? That's very strange. Oh, hello. Oh, fun. And that's guys. how I know Bernie would have won. If she would have voted for him, oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Right, but he lost. Because Hillary squashed him with backstabbing. <sighs> That's muddled. Look, if, if, if he Hillary. Didn't, he didn't have if, the numbers, if, man. If, if Hillary weren't running, he, if it were Bernie instead of Hillary, yeah. it would have been a fucking landslide. A motherfucking landslide. I agree, but I also think that's a kind of a moot point because he couldn't muster the numbers to defeat Hillary, so then it just doesn't matter. You're... Because she was a conniving bitch who actually killed my faith in the American system, yes. <sighs> nah, man. I think a lot of that's really gray. I'll be honest with you. 
I'll be honest with you. Bernie's got what a I, lot of support. What I'm saying is we can blame Trump on Hillary. And I do. No, no. You can blame Trump on on people thinking that they were equally bad. The 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 pervasive thought that that Hillary was just as bad as Trump is why we have Trump. Mm -hmm. And that's on the people. And, you know, we're we're finding out now that a lot of that was very purposeful because of uh, because of uh, the Russians having this big campaign to smear Hillary to, to reinforce this idea that she was just as bad. When in, in actuality, we're seeing uh, the kind of badness that can happen. So, no, no, I don't I don't think that. I think a lot of people were duped, Rich. I think a lot of good people were duped. Nope. Hillary was evil. Gobbledygook says Alien Covenant was great. Seen it five times already. Rich doesn't want to believe that he was duped, but that's We fine. need to see the sequel promised in Aliens. Xenomorphs invade a futuristic cityscape. I predict we will see a Blade Runner alien crossover setup. Ooh, that could be fun. Probably that sounds dumb. Wait, where was I? I don't know if she'll take me up on it, but I told my sister, open invitation. Anytime she wants to crash stream. She's like up in town for her dance thing and afterwards. Oh yeah? I'll stream it. I'll stream it an off day just to, just a have her on. Your Mormon sister? My Mormon sister. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. That'd be great. <laughs> All right. She's sweet people. All right. I've never met her. Yes, chat. Russia caused alien covenant. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is that what we were talking about? Russia causing alien covenant? Where did I lose my bits? You don't know. You don't know where I lost my bits. Oh, I was up. That's right. That's right. I was up. I'm not strong enough for these guys yet. You need to level up. I need to level up. You need to grind? Uh, I don't know. Like, I just went up there. Maybe I'm not supposed to be up there yet. Okay. Maybe it's one of those go a different direction and we're telling you to go a different direction because you're dying too much. Did you eventually kill those two guys or did you just avoid that area? What two guys? The two guys who I said might be NPCs. Uh, I just avoided that area. Okay. Yeah, you know, maybe try that again. Maybe yeah. try going through there. Yeah. I think there's more room to go a different direction, too. I just found an elevator, so I went up it. But I, now I need to go back there and get my scrap back, because I got, like, 3,000 scrap, which might be able to get me some upgrades to some stuff. I should uh, go back and upgrade my weapons and stuff. I haven't been using my drone, either. Chuck Foxes. Hello, Jack and Rich. Hi, Chuck. I want to recommend Blame, pronounced Blam, on Netflix. The mind-blowing setting seems like a great fit for sci-fi Dark Souls. It takes place in a post-apocalypse like HZD. It's a uh, anime. Uh, <laughs> Heads up. Maybe it's great. I don't know. I have any idea. Heads up. No idea. It's an anime. 
I I just saw that today. I was I was I had a episode of uh, Master of None. Have you seen Master of None? Which is that again? Aziz and Sorry. No. I'm thinking uh, of the um, Dana Carvey movie. Master, Master of Disguise? Of disguise. <laughs> Very <laughs> different movie, Rich. Very different movie. Uh, no, this is uh, Aziz Ansari and in, in just kind of very autobiographical. Biographical. Really funny show. Really funny show. So I had one of those on and, and Netflix. Netflix was also recommending Blame. So I took a look at it and I saw that it was anime and I said, eh, maybe later. All right. Script. Renegade Kiris is Jack. I'm Jack. When will you guys be streaming the Friday the 13th game? Is it out? Comes out on Friday. There we go. Hoping Jay could join since I haven't seen him on stream in a while. Also, maybe we could play with you guys. LOL AIDS. First of all, we tried playing with you guys once with a, another game like Friday the 13th and you all cheated. Presumably presumably yeah it's hard to know for sure i could have just sucked that bad or the game was could have been designed that bad sure or they could have cheated. cheating was possible Fuck. No, I think they were cheating. You know why, Rich? They're cheaters. Rich, did your sister say why she was a Bernie supporter? Well, she's ever, you know what? She's, if she ever does come on the stream, you'll, you'll have to ask. You'll have to ask. Yeah. Interesting. I guess there was no upcoming actual Friday on a 13th that they could release it on. Is for, oh, yeah. Friday's not the 13th yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. They probably looked ahead and was like, oh, <laughs> shit, like, shit. It's, we got to say, it's like years, shit. But not not even waiting until, like, early, you know, like, early in October, which is interesting. You would think they would they would want to wait until they were a little closer to Halloween. Don't you think? So it's not until October. Well, that'd be the perfect fucking time to release this thing. Right. The fuck? Unless the, unless they're thinking we get it out now, get all the bugs fixed, and then put out like a DLC in October. That, you know what? That's <laughs> probably what they're gonna do. Yeah. Thirteen plus thirteen equals twenty-six. That is so stupid. That is lame. Is that their reason? Friday the Thirteenth has nothing to do with Halloween except for that it's a scary movie. It is a Halloween movie. Like. You know, they just delayed the game. I know they probably don't want to delay. It would probably just increase their sales in the long run because then you got more of an event and you got Halloween coming up and an interest in horror. Now when uh, October rolls around, it'll just be that game that's been out for months. What's the newest release that's horror-related? I don't care about what they're saying. Right? Is is Rich teasing his sister on stream? I it's up to her. I would love I you know, I would love to have her on. Anytime she wants. Oh yeah, we have no plans. So that's not necessarily teasing. That's not what teasing is, but Eh. Eh. Chuck Fox says, bottle cap also. <clears throat> bottle cap. I should recommend the comics of Blam instead. There you go. Kind of pricey, but well worth it. Oh, never mind. The premise is a post-apocalypse in a city that is automatically expanding via robots. Sorry, chat. Automatically expanding via robots. I think they're asking if you're making fun of your sister. No! I'm actually just shocked that she voted that way. Everything I know about her has been... Conservative. Very, very conservative. Right. Strongly conservative. Right. And the fact that she got swayed to Bernie mm. 
he so would have won. He so would have. If she, if he won her over, yeah, he would have fucking won by a fucking mile. Wow. Like I said, it that's just, it. Just blew my mind. That that's a hard game to play because you also had a lot of Bernie supporters who then decided to support Trump, which makes no sense ideologically. Anger. And like I said, anger. The a misinformation campaign. They they. And he couldn't get the votes to even win the Democratic the convention. Like they the, saw the the best chance this country have, and like I don't like to take a political side. I'll yeah. say this about Bernie. Yeah. From my my opinion on Bernie. Yeah. He passed every one of my bullshit detectors. Oh, he seemed like a genuine dude. I'm a dude. cynical man. I voted for him. Don't, and you don't I have to could, convince me. I could voting. not find the hypocrisy in him. I was like, you know, no. He, no. Does he believe? He, does he care about people? Yeah. Like, yeah. And people were mad at Hillary for crushing that. She was never going to win. You know, it was that kind of attitude that but it was that. It was her turn, and that was the attitude that fucked us all. No, you're right. It she, was her turn. That, that, there was never that. That was something that people put on her. That was something you put on her. People had this idea in their head that she was she would be just as bad as Trump. Ah, just another career. A lot pilot. of people had that idea, and that's why she didn't win, Jack. Right, right. Maybe it was a bad idea to run. Or maybe people should stop being idiots. Oh, well, just what we need, another career politician. I mean, fuck, why do we need someone who knows what they're doing? We'll just, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. Doop, 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 doop. Ooh, what's that? Dead bodies. No, oh, it's just dead bodies. Don't believe it. Hey, you over here. What? My rig got a juice on the fucking statue. You know what I'm saying? Can you power it up? Jump start me. What? How do I get up there? Please, man. Tell me how to get up there. And then I'll help you out, brother. Hey, buddy. Shh. All right, I'm fine. Tired and sad says Bidden would have won had he entered the race. <laughs> yes, that is an equally valid argument. He didn't have the baggage of Hillary and could connect better in the Midwest. There you go. There you go. And he wasn't running and Bernie didn't get the numbers. Tired and sad says, what are your thoughts on... Robert Zemeckis being rumored to direct the Flash film. <laughs> Is this just stalling since the movie probably won't be made? Right? Yes. Right? At this point. Oh, man. I think the funny part was Zemeckis was their fourth choice. <laughs> <laughs> and if Zemeckis says no, we're going to talk to De Niro. <laughs> Not De Niro. Oh, I fucked up that joke. Not De Niro. Uve, Scor Scorsese. Uve Scorsese. Uve Boll. No, the joke was a, an even better director. Zemeckis is a good director who was their fourth pick. And the joke was Scorsese, who works a lot with De Niro. Oh, man. Please play something else. <laughs> nope. Unless Rich wants to. Well, you can talk about politics while we're switching games. <laughs> <laughs> people love that, right? Do people like that? No? <laughs> uh, we try not to bring it up because we know it stirs up a shitstorm and everybody's got an opinion. Like Rich and I, but you see how Rich and I aren't really yelling at each other? We're just talking. That's an okay thing to do. We each think each other is wrong. But hey, we're still being civil. I've, I have not... I didn't even know there were Mad Max books. I have not read them. There's Mad Max books? I didn't know there were Mad Max books. I'm not surprised, I guess. <laughs> Mad Max is a violent universe. I, don't know. I guess I guess they could still work in a book. Yeah, I mean anything. Uh, they made you know, Conan came from books. <laughs> the visual brutality of it all, you know. I guess I guess that could work. Yeah. Australian Conan the Barbarian. It's fine. 
The chat has lost his mind. Oh, no. Do we have to go into emote only mode? Chat, if you don't settle down, the mods will do it. To be fair, you and Rich are basically arguing over... We don't hate each other, though. Yeah, no, and, I mean, Rich knows, and you all probably know, I voted for Bernie in the primaries. I, I would have loved Bernie. We just have different, uh, different opinions on... Whoa, shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Oh, I fucked up. Fucked up. Can I just leave the area and they'll leave me alone? Or will they follow me? Oh, well, one's following me. All right, well, I'll take on one. Rich, have you seen Overboard? The the Goldie Hawn, Kurt Russell movie where he tricks an amnesiac woman into being his wife? That's really creepy if you really think about it. Not even if you really think about it. If you watch it, it's really <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I think I saw it when I was, like, when I came out when I was a kid. So. Oh, I fucking love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> It's great. It's it, like if you can distance yourself. So it's some family friendly rape. It is like <laughs> if you can distance yourself from the horror that is. And and by the way, he turns her into a slave. Yes, I know. Oh, no, you're my wife. You love cooking and cleaning and watching the kids while I go out and get drunk because I'm an alcoholic who's unemployed. Jack, it's okay because she was a bitch to him. <laughs> that one time. When she hired him to, like, build her closet on her yacht. Right. Oh, I remember. Shit, shit. That makes it okay to lie about who she is when she falls overboard and gets amnesia. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm winning. Never mind, I'm winning. Never mind. Shit. Boom. Ugh. Great. Oh, overboard. Do you remember do you remember Rich? What? What Kurt Russell's dream was in Overboard. No, what, I don't. What was the what was the big third act? I don't remember. What was it? Like, you know, he, he's a carpenter. Yeah. He's a pretty good carpenter, if you remember. Like, he built her that whole amazing bookcase in her boat the thing. The mega closet. The mega closet, but it was the wrong wood type. <laughs> That's why she got very mad at him. Um, but Kurt Russell had a dream. And the thing they're working for the entire sec second act that's the big, you know, the big reveal in the third act is he wants to build the best mini golf course in the world. <laughs> Do you remember, remember this? No. You know, oh, it's by the, that's what I loved as a kid because we went mini golfing all the time. Oh, it's going to have contraptions and you hit the hole over here and it goes over here and we're going to build the best mini golf course you've ever seen. Oh, I just can't get the money. <laughs> Is is that where they met, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell? No, I think they were they were together. They when were they together made before them. It's like an amazingly long relationship. Yeah. For two stars. Yeah. And you you know what? That's also a relationship where you see that and you go, oh yeah, those two <laughs> those two are made for each other. <laughs> oh, just a pair. They're no longer together, right? I think they are. What? I think they just never got married. Oh, yeah, that was their thing. These guys scream, and that's creepy. Oh, tungsten alloy. I need that. Great. Great. Got some tungsten alloy there. Yeah, I know already, but I. how do I... I don't fucking know. Maybe I gotta go up there. Oh, oh, I see. They are still together, according to the chat. That's, oh. that's so sweet. That is so sweet. That's great. <laughs> Those two kids. <laughs> if they can make it work, anybody can. And right, I'm gonna do something stupid and see if that works to my advantage. Where does this go? That goes over there. Oh, I bet that's it. I bet that's it. I gotta run. Wait, how do I get up there? 
Just, you just, your left hand, it's doing nothing. Huh? It, it's, your, your left hand is just fucking, it's fucking useless, Jack. Yeah, I'd love a secondary. <laughs> I'd love a secondary. I can do this. <laughs> I can block, but I've ne- I never block. Right. Because why block? Oh, oh shit. Well, you know what? Depends upon the game, Jack. Some games, I don't even know why they bother. Fuck you. This is the same guy that killed me last time. Especially a game with a really good dodge. Right? I probably should have blocked over there. They're still... Po- oh, that's... By the way, that makes me happy that Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn have made it. <laughs> Those two kids. Hunchback Jack is saying, Am I right to think Tarantino gave Kurt a meanie weed career? What is that? I'm assuming new? Uh, or was he still working? I think he was still working. He, uh, though, uh, Tarantino helped his his renaissance. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I lost all that. A scrap. new career. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, much, much like Tarantino did with uh, John Travolta. And much like he did uh, kind of. Oh, yeah, I guess he did rebirth Travolta. Travolta and um, Kurt. No, um, Bruce Willis. Bruce would have been okay without Tarantino. He would have been, but... He would have been fine without Tarantino. Brought him to another level. Also, Samuel L. Jackson brought him to another level. Well, he brought Samuel L. Jackson in. What was Samuel L. Jackson? He was around, but he wasn't big at all, ever. Right, that's what I'm saying. He brought Samuel L. Jackson to a new level. He was around. He was working. He essentially... I would would almost go as far as to say he discovered him. (sighs) He practically discovered Samuel L. Jackson. That's a stretch. Practically, he was pro- possibly the first to utilize what him was, correctly. What was his major role before? Uh, shotgun toting robber in Coming to America. Uh, I I know that, but yeah, that is not a big part. <laughs> uh, when was Jurassic Park compared to Pulp Fiction? After. After. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then shotgun toting robber in Coming to America. That's all. That's Wait, all. You know what? I could be wrong. He might. I'm done... pretty sure it was after. They might have been the same year. No, now I don't know. Now I don't know. It was before. They're saying it was before? Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So Spielberg discovered Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, was the, you know what? You know what? He, yeah, he was in Jurassic Park. But He, he wasn't a very huge and memorable part He, of You know Jurassic Park. what? He wasn't Samuel L. Jackson in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> yes. He wasn't the Samuel L. Jackson that we all know. <laughs> oh, I see. Look at this. Oh, okay. That's how I get that guy. Oh, that's fun. I like that. You know what? They do have fun little secrety areas. I hear you. Did you kill him? Uh, oh, no. No, I saved him. I saved him. Great. I liked him in Die Hard 3. Yeah, well, when was Die Hard 3? That, that was, was like probably 95. after. Okay. Yeah, that was probably after. I'm sure he was in some, like, indie films. Not to be super racist, but was he in Spike Lee movies? I don't know. Before, before that? Uh, you look, I'm sure, yeah, I'm not saying he wasn't around. The question is, was he big? No, and he was not big. Right. Yeah. That's, that's the question. No, he wasn't big, and even when he was in a big movie, he wasn't necessarily doing his thing. So... I'm with you. I'm with you, Rich. He starred in Loaded Weapon 1. Yeah, I, I still say... Loaded was Weapon he big? 1. Was <laughs> yes, he big? Yes, he starred in a completely forgettable movie that everyone ignored because it was stupid. <laughs> Loaded Weapon 1. <laughs> I remember that movie. (laughs) 
I remember that movie. Oh, okay, yeah, he was in Do the Right Thing. Okay. That was the first true, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I, I didn't want to assume. I didn't want to assume he was in Spike Lee movies, but it... Mm-hmm. Tired and sad, says. One way. With Zack Snyder stepping down from Justice League due yeah. to a personal family tragedy and Joss Whedon completing the reshoots, yeah. where do you think Warner Brothers will go from here? Well, I think they're not they're not shit canning Snyder because they don't want him anymore. He's he's taking a back seat because he's grieving for the loss of a child. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna be back. I think they're gonna go the exact same course they've they've been on single mindedly. Yeah, and you And know, if they had any thoughts of dumping him, if if the executives have any kind of soul at all, they would just be more reluctant to at this point. Oh, not just soul. This that would be the worst PR move a company could make. Would you imagine like even right. me who doesn't necessarily care for him would say, "Man, that's cold to dump him." Right. <laughs> right? Right. Like, no company would make that bad of a PR blunder. What what may come of it, what we may see is uh, Wonder Woman so far is getting positive reviews. So far. Very few people have seen it. Who, which is not directed by Zack Snyder. If Joss Whedon can kind of sprinkle some of his personality on justice league and it does noticeably better at the box office Zack snyder just might say hey i'm comfortable walking away mm-hmm. this be handled delicately and they would give Zack snyder a chance to say that and of course, like maybe he would he would just say, "How about this? How about I'll just produce?" <laughs> and say so he would still get like. I don't, many, I don't know how many reshoots they're doing or how this will affect the editing. I don't, I don't know. Well, and that, and, I don't know. And by the way, that's the thing everyone needs to make sure they understand is the movie's already shot. Yeah. For the most part, but a director still needs to be around to make decisions in the editing room. Uh you know, I know this is a this is obviously a a big personal tragedy as a just as a moviegoer, I think it will be very interesting. It'll be a very interesting experiment switching directors at this point in a film. I wonder how noticeable it will be. Oh my god, these guys are massive. Nope. Here's Kirk nope. saying nope. Zack Snyder announced this because reshoots are about to start. Yeah. His daughter's suicide happened in March, and they wanted to keep it quiet, but realized that his absence on the reshoots would create news. Yes. Yes. Yes, it would. Oh, yes, it would. Grand Hand Christ says, What do you guys think of the movie Ravenous? Great soundtrack by Damon Albarn and amazing dark humor. I've never heard of it. Sorry. Is it reason? Sorry. Yep. Sorry. I'm in the same boat. John D. Filippo says. Yes. Rich, do you think that the Spider-Man Homecoming trailers have shown too much? I feel like they have spoiled the whole damn movie. Also, how do you think it looks? I've only seen the first trailer, so I know of no spoilers. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just don't care that much in the grand scheme of things. About spoilers, or? About the movie? I, I, oh, yeah? I'll say, we've had, like, a shit ton of Spider-Man movies. Yeah, but this one could be good. The one thing I can say about it is, this is probably, I, I like, uh, what's his name? The Peter Parker. Tom Holland. I like Tom Holland. He, he might be the first time... We have had a decent person playing the the part of Peter Parker in Spider Man. I didn't I didn't like Toby and I despised Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Toby Maguire played him like a leave it to Beaver character. Uh-huh. Which I understand why they hired him for uh Pleasantville. 
<laughs> and uh, Andrew Garfield played him like he was a mannequin. With but good like, hair. But like the coolest mannequin. But like the cool mannequin with good hair. Yeah. Come on, get his leg. No, his leg. So this'll, this'll, it'll probably be the best on-screen Peter Parker we've had. Yeah. Will it be a good movie? No idea. Right. Right. You hate to get your hopes up. <laughs> Piles of text drive can be consumed from within your inventory to instantly provide you with new... Oh, shit! Lurdy says, I've been watching the real Ghostbusters on Netflix. After getting to an episode where they accidentally trap the three ghosts of Christmas... I can say this show is fucking awesome. Good animation, too. Here's, here's the story, though. That show eventually falls victim to executive meddling. They, they get rid of uh, JMS at some point, uh -huh. and then the suits take over, and, like, you know, Jane's got to be more motherly, and they, they, they change some shit up, and then the show turns to crap. Oh, but that early bits, oh, that show is pretty damn good. First season or two or however long it was. Oh. Oh, okay. So these are the, um, what are they called in Bloodborne? The things that give you soul, the blood echoes? Okay. That's okay. what these are. Okay, that's what you're trying to tell me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, game, for trying to teach me. Plark. All right. I'm going to try to take out this fucker for the last time here. I want Wonder Woman to be good so bad, but every DC movie has been so disappointment. I don't know. I kind of want it to be trash just so they nuke the whole thing and start again and do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, I think the best thing that could happen is for, like, an epic failure. Mm. That and that Justice League. Uh, I gotta, oh, jeez, we're going to start again. Oh, boy. How about that uh, that injustice storyline? <laughs> then then the good Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman show up and that'd be nice. They kick the asses of these characters who we don't like. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how, that's how they fix this. It's the only way they fix this. Where's my lost scrap? Oh, that's right. I lost it with the cops. No, that's just lost forever. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to fight one more dude, and then I'm going to go and level up. And I don't know. How are you feeling? What time is it? What time we got here? Oh, it's 10.30. Sure. 10.21. Yeah, we'll fight this dude. See, maybe we'll call it. A oh, shit. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Block, Jack. Block. Wow. I just told you what to do. Huh? I just told you what you needed to do. I can't. I can't block and move. You can't. You can't dodge you, while you're. I can dodge. I just can't block and move. Dodge block. Dodge block. Not not quick enough. No. All right. Here we go. Do not block with your face. <laughs> Sorry, I blocked with my face. Tired and sad says, who's your favorite disgraced celebrity? Disgraced celebrity? Disgraced celebrity. Oh. 
How many disgraced celebrities are there? <laughs> I mean, uh, Mel Gibson, he already made his comeback. Oh, yeah, he did. Hulk Hogan. How many how many disgraced celebrities are there? Oh, I'm, a million. Fatty man. Arbuckle, O.J. Simpson, yes. Fatty yes. Arbuckle? What? Accused of uh, murder. Was he? Uh, accused. I don't. I, I. I believe it wasn't. If you look at the evidence, it wasn't very likely that he did it. I think he did get off, but the stigma of it ruined his career. Oh yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I don't. I guess I don't know that much about the life of Fatty Arbuckle. I'll be honest with you. Fatty Arbuckle was accused incorrectly of raping a woman with a Coke bottle to death. I'm sorry. What? That's what I read. I didn't hear about the Coke bottle. That's probably bullshit, though. To death? Son of a bitch. That's quite an accusation. That's quite the accusation right there. In any case, he was disgraced yet innocent. Sure. Sure. Which I guess puts him high on the list. <laughs> the fact that he didn't do it. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. Wow. Wow. The Coke bottle thing was a rumor. Okay. Oh, now I have plenty of scrap. Great. The principal and Ferris Bueller. Oh, he's nobody's favorite anything right now. Oh, God. Ugh. No, didn't he have child? child yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Nope. That's fairly unforgivable. Yep. I'm going to go right ahead and say, yep. OJ? Yeah, fairly unforgivable. He straight up killed some people. I you know what? I guess it's just Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> what was the thing I was reading about the other day about the um, that that famous photograph uh, from Vietnam of the one guy shooting the other guy in the head? Yeah. You know that photograph? Yeah. Um, the one, one guy was like a, a, a military person. The other guy was a villager and, and that photo became really popular and everyone was like, that military officer is a fuck. I can't believe he just shot that but, dude in the head. But there was more to the story. But there was more to the story because that guy that he shot in the head was actually kidnapping, raping and murdering <laughs> like a bunch of people in the village. <laughs> and it was up to the army to find that guy. And they didn't have time to put him in jail because a war was happening. <laughs> so they just executed the guy right there. And it was a really tough decision. And apparently that that lieutenant or whoever it was that executed, like, eventually moved to America, like, started a restaurant. But then that picture became very popular and he was demonized for it. Yeah. Even though. The person who took the photograph felt terrible about it. Horrible yeah. about it. Yeah. Because he was just like, I was just capturing a moment. But everyone everyone assumed what the moment was yep. about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not not necessarily a disgraced celebrity, but you know, along those lines. Check foxes. Bottle cap? Laughing out loud. Check my fox. All right. Bottle cap. Yeah, the best thing of that was special forces. That was pretty good. I thought it was a I thought it was a I thought it could have been a crutch. Huh? I thought it was a crutch. Oh, it did look like a crutch. It absolutely looked like a it crutch. It was 100% legitimate. It was a good joke. Oh, I mean, the bottle cap montage is great, though. Bottle cap. <laughs> the, you, you saved that technical problem with some editing. I didn't even remember that the, um, the camera wasn't on. Oh, right? Yeah. At the beginning. We had this whole bit. See, uh, here's, 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 here's that... Um, serious metal detecting came about like a few days before jack scott i got the perfect game for first four hours of yep it's perfect i'm trying to think of the name i'm trying to think of the name yeah and you spent like five minutes looking for the name because you couldn't think of what it was and i eventually said jack would it be would it be better if i heard this for the first time on camera and you're like oh yeah it's a great idea it's yeah. a great idea 
So we, we came here. It was time to do the first four hours of. I have no idea what the game is. Mm-hmm. I actually got myself a blindfold to wear. Right. While you set it up. And I, and I set up everything, you know, the camera we set up, the game I set up, I started recording our audio, you know, because I record the camera, I record the gameplay footage, and I record the audio on three separate devices. So get everything set up, okay, record, we're recording the gameplay footage, we're recording the camera. Alright, and so we started with this bit where Rich had to, like, but, like, problem number one is serious metal detecting doesn't have a title screen. <laughs> right. Like this, right? The Surge. Right. It didn't have a title screen, so... Then I was like, well, shit. Well, okay, I guess first we'll just take off your blindfold and we'll... We'll have this title screen with nothing on it. This non-title screen that just says, like, new game. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) And he takes off the blindfold, and immediately he takes off the blindfold, and I realize I was not recording our camera. (laughs) And so I quick hit record, and, and I yeah, I catch all the bit of that I can. So that's why the episode starts with no camera and just gameplay footage. Yeah. And then, so, yeah. Yeah, I watched that. I, I forgot about the technical issue. Hmm? Like, why, why do you have the camera? Why are you not at the start with the camera? Oh, well. Well, and I, I realized it until later. I made it make sense as if the audience was seeing it with right. you. Right. right. That's how I got around my technical error. So, <laughs> Jack Attack. It's tough. It's tough. You know, like, we're, we record on a lot of different things and. It's just us. We got to remember that shit, and really, I got to remember. That's my job. It's my job to remember that. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, you want to get to get to reading the things? I do. I'm trying the names to, of the people. I'm trying to alt tab out of the game. Here we go. I'm trying to alt tab out of the game, and I did. So we can open up the Twatcher, which we remembered to turn on this time, which I'm very excited about remembering to turn it on. Where is that? Are you still? Come here. There you are. Why are you over there? I don't know, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I just like to know we're still streaming. Okay, so this uh, is the part of the stream. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, uh, the Surge... It's all right. It's all right. It's an all right. all right game. Like, I feel a lot better about The Surge than I did about Neo. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that just felt... Uh, it did. The combat felt blah, which is, is the problem. Exactly. And this combat, feel it feels heavy and it feels powerful. Purposeful? Yes. Clunk. Chink. Like, you have that kind of hidden combo system thing that they had in Bloodborne where pressing different buttons do things, and it felt good. So... If anyone is looking at this as a sci-fi Dark Souls, I think I think it's a pretty decent replacement. I don't like I think I think it's sixty bucks right now. Oh, oh! Don't know if it's worth oh. that, but it's pretty good. It's pretty pretty good. All right, all right. <clears throat> in any case, uh, in any case, uh, this is the point in the stream in which Rich and I thank. All the people who have subscribed to us during the stream, much like Os Carried Eye, who says struggling on work nights in UK to watch live, but your streams are so entertaining. I look forward to watching them later that day. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. Who took my VCR? Says this game is awful, and you're going to hate it. <laughs> well, Wrong. well, like I'm not. I'm not super in love with it because it is very similar uh-huh. to Bloodborne, but it's all right. It's all right. They t- they take that who took my VCR. The Willem Mister. The Willem Ister is the name. The William Mister. That sounds right. Yeah. Mario Mario 42 for 35 Ooh. fucking months in a row. One month. It says. This space was intentionally left blank in preparation of 36 months. Chakotay has culture. Xanost. Moki B85 for 35 fucking months in a row. Moki B85 says, "Uh, one more month till my three year anniversary. It's like a marriage, but more like Stockholm Syndrome. Lols. Death John says, 
can't watch streams live anymore because I get up at 4 a.m. CST for work Ooh. now. I, geez, sorry. Wow. That's all right. But I always watch later. Jack, have you tried Boulevard beer yet? If not, get on that. Look forward to hearing your response while I drink my coffee at 4.30 a.m. later this week. 4 a.m. or Boulevard, 4.30 a.m. sucks. I used to work that shift. Yes. I, I used to have yep. to get up that early to work, and it sucks. And I hear you. I'm with you, Death John. Uh, Boulevard Beer has actually a really amazing sour beer. Uh, it's called Show Me the Sour, and it's this dark... It's this dark stout that somehow is light and sour, and it's a beautiful beer. So, yes, I've had that beer and really enjoy it. All right. Yeah. Uh, Zoinko. Nope. Zoikno is the name. Zoikno. Says seven months, and only now, and only now I realize I needed to clip the box up here to do a message. Wish Jay was here to talk about Twin Peaks. I'm sure he will talk a lot about yeah, it next time. I haven't seen it yet. Jay loves it. Yeah? He loves it. Really? He loves it more, I think. Whoa. He says he won't be surprised if other people don't like it, though. Sure. Well, it's... <laughs> it's but he also just loves David Lynch, so... <laughs> yeah. But oh. he, for the record, he loves it. Really? Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen it yet, but that sounds... Hold on, let me... Yeah, I'll scroll. scroll down. I'll do that whole scrolly, scrolly, scrolly there g smebs <laughs> says jack and rich That's a good name yeah Th thank you for bringing so much joy into my thursdays and sundays also do you ever drop host on people i don't know i don't know what what you're doing on thursdays M maybe he can't watch the wednesday night stream maybe. so he watches them or on maybe thursdays. maybe you know we go late sometime maybe different time zone sure. maybe it's thursday morning for them yeah. i don't know Drop hosts on people. I'm going to assume that means do we host, host other, other channels? Streams. We do not. People in our chat, if you're if you're if you're not around much after the stream, they like to gather around in yonder chat and watch a film. Yeah, that's that's the after stream activity here. And they talk about they'll they'll synchronize when they watch it and they talk about it in chat. And so if we hosted other channels, that would, that would fuck with that. They would like they would actually have to like mute what's happening. It, it would it would be an extra step in their life. And I you know also we don't necessarily get to choose who we host all the time or like auto host. And I I, I kind of like controlling our own channel. If if you're if you're fairly new, yeah. After the stream, chat tends to stay around and watch a movie. Yeah. Also uh, Thursday nights they watch Star Trek or other science fiction shows. Yeah. And then um, what is it? What's the other night? For watching movies. Friday? Is it... What, what's the other night? Movie dicks. All y'all movie dicks. Is it s Saturday? I think it's... Fusion Friday. T Tuesdays and Thursdays? So Tuesdays. Okay. Tuesdays the other night. Okay. Uh, where do we leave off? Just do the schmips. G oh, use yeah, the yeah. G-Spibs? Yeah. So I say power fantasy. Oh, I, I burped, so I didn't want to burp in the mic. <laughs> power fantasy says, eek! I almost didn't realize it was re-sub times. Cheers. Chica Moo Moo. Tyrak, the ancient, for 17 months in a row. Vice versa man, says. Twas Brillig and the slithy toves. Did Gree and Gimble in the Wabe, all Mimsy were the Borough Groves and the Momraths outgrab. Outgrabe. Read the thing. Outgrabe. Outgrabe. That, that, grabe. See, did Gyre and Gimble in the Wabe, all Mimsy were the Borough Groves I don't know the and the Momraths outgrabe. I want to say that's Shakespeare. I don't know ye oldie English. If if I if I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna look at chat because they're gonna they're gonna say it. I'm going to guess uh, twas a midsummer night's dream. Jabberwocky. Karen would have would have known that. What's then. a Jabberwocky? So I think it's uh, Alice uh, Wonderland. Oh sure. 
from Alice in Wonderland, not Shakespeare. You know what throws throws me off? Mimsy. Mimsy sounds like something a Shakespeare would say. Very sorry. Oh, okay. Very sorry. All poetry is Shakespeare. To me. Where were we? Where we're at. Uh, that was vice versa, man. So how about Rob for twenty five fucking months in a row? Says, why can't we have corpses left behind in games anymore? Burning up slash fading away, soldo. Because memory is a constant issue. Yeah. It's an issue you don't really have on PC, but usually consoles are really ridiculously low on memory. Sure, sure. Well, and and like leaving bodies dangle around, like in Bloodborne, there were many goofy, there were many goofy dead body physics that we came across, and so it's just easier that way. It's a, it's an artifact of console development. Well, I'm sure for PC a lot development of, as well. Like. Well, a lot of times you see mods that gets rid of that, and it's fine. Oh yeah, yeah, hmm? yeah. Hmm? It's usually a memory limitation. Hmm. Which PCs typically don't have an sure. issue with, as wonder, big an issue with. The surge probably came out on consoles probably, as well. Probably, yeah. Dick Gentlier says, I think I missed subscribing last month. Am I still in the secret club? Wink, wink. Yes. <laughs> pass the... Chat. Pass the chat. There you go. Hometown markup for 34 fucking months in a row. Loads loads of money. There you go. Says, I hope Rich is ready for 10 more Spider-Man remakes in his <laughs> lifetime. Oh, at this rate, it'll be more. Right. Morbos 1000. Gwag. Says, Long-time listener, first-time subscriber. Thoughts on Twin Peaks return? You heard us talk about it. We talked about it. We, seen, we did the we thing. Haven't seen, we haven't, haven't seen it. Seen it. I'm, Jay really Jay's it. the guy you want to talk to. Jay's the guy. When Jay is on, we will talk a fucking about it all fucking I, night. I'll have to. I'll have to get it like a little. Like we'll have to talk about this days ahead of time, so I can watch at least a couple episodes of Twin Peaks just yeah. to, just so I can talk with Jay's about it. Joe Kitty oh, oh, 001 says I only subbed for Rich's love. Dynamite! Give us moon for 21 fucking months in a row. Har Tree Fokker. Digger Blue says celebrating eight months, two months running. <laughs> Owen Thunder Guns. Energy 999 says, trying to catch up with the archives of Prereq. Just got to Stardew Valley, solo stream, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's, you got quite a ways, man. Bill LaHecka for 35 fucking months in a row. And Bill says, one more month until I get the poppers. I am anticipating the poppers. I want the biggest poppers you have. I put up with your crap for almost three years now, goddammit! Crane Hand Christ! <laughs> says, first time subscriber, thanks! Thank like you! Thank you, Crane Hand Christ. <laughs> Veggie 64 for 13 months in a row. Tharticus says, another month, another joyful podcast stream. Thanks! Not when we're talking about politics, it wasn't. Uh -uh. Oh, ha ha! Oh, got a little, got a little roused. Uh, Brown, Brown Adam Sandler, is that person's name. And Brown Adam Sandler says, "Me personally, I loved next time's prereq, or I mean, I will love next week's prereq. Some money for that." Fucker Rich Evans and Jack too, I guess. Thank you. Waffle Tail for 22 fucking months in a row. Gentleman's Bear says, long time listener, short time subscriber. Thanks, Jack, for the recommendation on Miss Marvel. Currently enjoying reading through the series after many years off comic books. You know, I'm still reading it. It's still a great book. I just, it's because it's all the same shit, superheroes, right? Yeah, like, it's all yeah. the same shit. So all you can hope is you lock on to a character with some interesting uh, personality traits. Okay. I like that, Miss Marvel. Where's my, where's my thing? Make film not war! A slight buzzing says, OBJECTION! 
Um, how was that? I read that once. John De John De Filippo. There you go. Says, love you guys. Rich, do you think that the Spider-Man Homecoming trailers have shown too much? Now I know where I read this before. <laughs> feel like they have spoiled practically the whole damn movie. How do you think it looks anyway? And we talked about that earlier yeah. in the stream when you tipped that very same comment. Here, here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say about that. We didn't get into the whole did it spoil because I saw the new. I have. I, I just have been watching all the trailers. I saw the first one that was it. In. It didn't give that much more away. I think you will be surprised. Uh, so basically, what what we know from the trailer so far is that Spider-Man's suit eventually Tony Stark will take away his cool new suit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that's gonna happen very early in the movie. Okay. And so I don't necessarily think they're spoiling they're, anything. They're going to give you one decent action scene without that suit. I think I think we're going to get a couple without the suit. I think that might be like the 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 second act turn is him taking away the suit. And so then we're going to get like I don't think they've given away that much is I guess what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. That's right. Hellcat Striker says, oops, subscription dropped when new credit card came out. Damn chip. By the way, Rich is right. I am H-O. In my humble opinion. On, on, you don't know what that means? Huh? You don't know I am H-O? I don't talk to Jesus you. Christ, it's as old as the internet. I don't do the text talk. Well, I, which is right about what? I guess it doesn't matter. Probably a lot of things. <laughs> Probably a lot of things. Hellcat Striker. It's fine. It's fine. We're all we're both right about things occasionally. Okay. Revulent. <laughs> uh, Samuchenian says, "I don't really know what to say." Ugh. I wish they still made ultimate muscle figures. Stay classy or not. Whatever's. Did you ever see that ultimate muscle show? Not the show. I think I. I remember there was like an NES game. It's been around for a while. Ultimate muscle. I'm As you're going to bed, yeah. Uh, I just I remember the the cartoon and how weird it was, how swole every every character was. Okay, okay. I was very confused by Ultimate Muscle. Never seen the show. Oh. I'm sorry, sorry. That's all right. Cosmos Jester for 26 fucking months in a row says, "You P Lalir, you P Lalir." Sure. Snack Attack 2600. And L-A-H-D says, love you guys. Keep it up. Jack, run the jewels. Thank you for subscribing. What's what, we running the jewels? What? That's me running the jewels. What does that mean? That This is what the cover of their albums look like. It's, a, it's like finger guns in a rock usually holding a chain. It's like the hip hop, man. Yeah. It's the hip hop. The hip hop. Yeah. Jack, I, I, I just I just remembered something. Yeah. This. 